Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies for goodies. So you guys, I got a couple of requests to review this sunscreen. You guys know how much we love sunscreen here. I wear sunscreen every day. However, not every sunscreen is made for us. Not only do I have oily skin, I am a woman of color and I always get sunscreens with a white cast. I told you guys not too long ago that the drugstore, I cannot find a good one. Here we are, fingers crossed, this is the one. Elf just released this. This one retails for 14 bucks. You guys, my favorite pen just ran out today. So my brows may be looking on the struggle bus because literally there's nothing in the pen, <laughs> nothing. That's never happened. The new e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow SPF retails for $14. This is a lightweight SPF 30 sunscreen that doubles as a makeup primer and leaves skin with a glowy radiance. It has a hint of sheer peach shimmer for a natural radiant glow. It is non-greasy. Key ingredients is SPF 30, SVB sun rays, aloe, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. I purchased mine on e.l.f.'s website. It comes in this box. And how big is this? 1.69 ounces. So here we go. Okay, this is, I have not put sunscreen on. Oh, okay, it has this color that I've seen. Okay, let's see. Oh, kind of a good color. I added too much, I think, but it's okay. We'll see if we get that white cast. Oh, gonna have to blend out down to our knees. Oh, look at that glow. It smells like sunscreen. Not too strong though. No white cla class. No white cast. It's blending in nicely. You guys, my niece made me a bracelet. It says happy 10K. We're celebrating my 10K on TikTok. Ooh. Wait, but this is, this is how we really know. This is how, we, oh, oh. It does feel greasy though. Like. Mm. And I find that greasy sunscreens just don't blend well with makeup and stuff. But this is just like a very, very first impression. Look at that. You see that? Oh. And it doubles as a primer. Okay. I kind of like it. I think it looks good. There's no white cast. Definitely very glowy. But you know what? Let's let it dry down for a little bit. So it's 6.23 in the a.m. Let's probably let it dry down maybe like 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, it's dried down. Okay, nice. I always let my skincare and sunscreen dry down for at least 10 minutes while I do my eyebrows, while I do other things before I get into makeup. I kind of like this. It is tacky, so I can see the primer part or feel it really. So what I am going to do is fast, fast. What I'm gonna do is put makeup on, speed it up, and then I'll be back. ready 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 so wow 
you see this glow right here? I did use a glowy foundation, but that's all the glow I have besides this sunscreen. Everything applied extremely well. We didn't get any of that peeling that happens with sunscreen or sometimes when sunscreens are thick, foundation immediately just breaks up or just doesn't lay flat, not flat. It doesn't lay well on the skin, but everything just feels good. It looks good. Everything blended out very well. I just want to show you, I obviously didn't wear, I didn't add primer because this sunscreen is used as a primer. So I just want to show you how the skin looks. You see that radiance? It looks pretty good. I don't see much texture, just a little bit here, but that always happens. I always have texture. Do I have like a booger here? Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of liking this. But you know what? Let's just see how things hold up, especially because this sunscreen is very prominent. And I say that because this radiance right here, it's this sunscreen. So the sunscreen's really, I feel like, strong, very moisturizing, very illuminating, very glowy. So let's just see if anything breaks apart throughout the day. I'm going to go in front of the window so you guys can see just how things look. Not that there would be much of a difference, but I just love that we also don't have that white cast and makeup just looks good. It just looks good. You know what? Talk about white cast. Let's take a picture. I don't think we will get flashback, but you never know. Because sunscreens like setting powders can cause flashback. A lot of time it's if they have that super strong white cast, which this one doesn't. Yeah, I know. We good. Oh, also, before I go, my lip combo is Rebel Kind from NYX, No Doubt from e.l.f., Lovable Me from Give. I'm just like, it's a whole combo today. You guys, this is how the skin looks. You see that glow that we still have? And I think we'll probably have all day. It's because of the sunscreen. But everything else looks really good. I feel like it provides good hydration because everything just glided well. I just wanted to show you in daylight. Oh yeah, I had to wait a little bit because it's super dark out. It was, so it's a little later now. But anywho's. Okay, ciao. Oh, hello, familia. I'm back. Oh, it is seven o'clock. We've had the sunscreen on for a long time. Okay, before we get started, let me show you some footage at around four o'clock, how the skin was looking. At this point, skin was looking very nice. Everything was very much still well put together, but my skin is oily and it's extremely glowy at this point it was most of the day but nothing's breaking up everything looks good oh it's been 12 or 13 hours later i'm very glowy does it look bad not really maybe a, maybe a little do i look gastada no do i look like super healthy like i drank my water yeah and i just want to show you look skin looks good you see how nothing has broke broken apart or anything separating the only thing is i noticed the nose kind of got a little bit funky so i would just say and suggest to just blend out that area a tad bit more oh i was laughing because i'm like i've had the sunscreen on for 12 hours you should always always reapply your sunscreen every 90 minutes or two hours i honestly don't do that but if you want to really reapply your foundation without messing it up. You can always use a setting spray. I use this one from Kula. It's a SPF 30 setting spray. I would carry it in my purse and just like spray the skin down every few hours so you can just keep that SPF into the skin. As a base and as a primer, overall, I think it's a great sunscreen. It doesn't leave a white cast. It really just gives you that beautiful glow that hydration to the skin. But if you have oily skin, this is not gonna work for an all day wear with makeup and everything. We're just gonna be way too oily as you can see right now. This is perfect if you are not wearing makeup and you just want that natural glow from within perfection if you have normal to dry skin this actually would really really work extremely well because it's truly truly hydrating and you know something is hydrating when it literally shines through the makeup after you put your foundation your concealer all your powders your bronzers and all that you can see that gastada wear type of deal you know but i do have oily skin i look very oily a, a lot more oily than i would like to but it's part of the game. It's part of what we kind of got into 
we saw how hydrating it is and hydration is not a bad thing when it comes for to us oily skin gals keep in mind that if you do wear your makeup 12 plus hours 15 plus hours we will be looking like this you can always tap your makeup honestly every three hours every four hours depending how oily you get i don't tap my makeup because i really want to just show you how we look at the end of the day but as you can see when we tap look like skin looks good we're always going to be glowy though so if you don't like the glowy look this is not for you but overall i absolutely love this i think it just worked out perfectly in all aspects yes to a good non-white cast leaving sunscreen that is 16 bucks we love that and i was actually at target today and i saw that they're putting it up i saw the stand being put up so it it is at target i will link it down below if you are looking for a new sunscreen and yeah this is it i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found this helpful please let me know your thoughts on this you guys know we're always chit chatting and i love you guys all so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit every day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye